Hey everybody, it's me, Blaze of War, and today I have a box opening for you. I actually found this at my local Walmart. Uh, this is a full box of Crossroads of Chaos. There's not really that much in here, and you, as you can see I got it for $39.98, which is kind of a weird amount. There's not really much good stuff in here aside from Plague Spreader and Black Rose, which I already have. Um, I also have a few packs of Hidden Arsenal 6. Omega Exceed, uh, which I'll open first. I'm hoping to get some um, Laval stuff from this. Uh, Steel Swarm Hercules. I, I keep pulling this one card. Like this, that's the one card I have like five of, and it's not really that good. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm looking for some Laval stuff because I'm hoping to maybe eventually build a Laval deck. There's a uh, Gem Knight Pearl, Laval Blaster, other crap. Okay. Uh, I think I bought eight packs of this. There were two, like, um, four packs, so I bought that many. Gem Knight Prismara. I think Gem Knights use this. I'm going to try and hold it in a way that you can also read the names. I, I'm kind of in a weird position right now. Uh, stick now. Okay. Um, I'm glad I got that Gem Knight Pearl. That card's pretty decent, even though it's not, like, an effect... Exceed Monster is still like the strongest rank 4 that you can make easily, and ooh! Digusto Phoenix, that's a pretty good card. Um, I'll put that over to the side. And still no, uh, still no good Lavals. I'm looking for Handmaiden, mainly. And, oh hey, it's Gust Kraken. Too bad this is, like, they can't do the hand loop anymore. Prism, this, I think this one's pretty good too, because you can um, you can synchro with it, and it's a thunder a tuner, so you can, uh, like, the hunters use it, people that play, like, thunder decks, because they can make stardust, and then they can, or they can make stardust with it, and then they can, um, equip it to stardust, and you get a 3500 meter, which is pretty nice. Ooh, another good one, Violon Di Sigma. Uh, I still think, uh, what's it called? Um... Shockmaster is better than this, but this is still pretty pretty good. Uh, still no Laval stuff, aside from that one Laval Blaster, which isn't very good. Uh, Digusto Falcos. Okay, nothing. Alright, last pack, and then we'll move on to the Crossroads of Chaos. Eventually, if I can open this right, there we go. And Ivigishki Tetroger. Looks like there's like a piece of the wording missing there, or piece of the word missing. And no, nothing good. I guess I'll take out the um, Gemini Pearl too, because that's pretty good. Let's see if I can find it. There it is, Gemini Pearl. Uh, you can't really see them, I just put them over there to the side. Uh, I'll move that over actually because now we're going to open this up with my handy dandy box cutter that I got from working at Target. Um, so I can only record for 10 minutes at a time so you may notice a cut about 10 minutes into the video uh, and I guess just please forgive me for that. My camera that I would like to use is out of battery right now and I can't find a charger. Uh, so here we go, we got 24 packs, these are all unlimited edition, I don't really care if they're unlimited or first ed, uh, I don't know, there's like one pack at the very bottom that's, I'm not sure if that's part of the, of one pile or the other, so we'll just get started, uh, I think only Black Rose and Plague Spreader are really good in this set, hey Botanical Girl is kinda decent, and we have an upside down Goka, the Pyre of Malice. Um, this this card's pretty good in, uh, what's it called, Hieratic um, Hazy Flames, because they can bring out this card and then just make that um, that crazy uh, bas Basilatrice, or bas Basilatrice, or whatever it's called, Haz Hazy Flame Basilacock, as, I, as the original name was supposed to be, I think. Uh, let's see... Yeah, there's not really much good stuff in here. I guess if you're looking to make like a Morphtronic deck or 
I guess there's some decent plant support in here too, but Botanical Girl, the card I pointed out before, is kind of decent, but it's it's kind of like um, horsey tail. What? It's kind of like Lone Fire Blossom, I think, except um, it has it's it has to be destroyed by battle, and it's not really. Uh, it's like an optional effect that. Uh, can potentially miss the timing. You guys probably can't see any of these cards because I'm holding them uh, way too um, out of camera, out of focus. Uh, I'm kind of hoping to get a Ghost or a Black Rose, or at least maybe like an Ultra or Ultimate Black Rose. Uh, I think Iron Chain Dragon is also in here. I don't know. Prideful Roar for the rare. I'm not going to separate the rares. I just have the one super rare that I got so far over here. Um, it only looks like there's six packs left on the uh, right side. That's where I started, right side. Some more Motronic stuff. Uh, Turbo Synchron rare. And another upside down Botanical Lion. Uh, it's a plant? Okay. Gains 300 attack for each plant you control. Interesting. I guess. And Giant Trap Hole. That's a pretty decent card. Uh, I think Treacherous Trap Hole is in this set too, um, but it's a secret rare. I don't think I'm going to get it. Okay. Plenty of plant stuff. Mad Archfiend for the rare. You probably can't even see any of this because uh, I am very bad at recording pack openings. I actually have a recorded uh, Return of the Duelist. And, hey, there's another mechanical girl. Yeah, let's see, it says, um, when this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, oh, it doesn't have to be destroyed by battle. You can add a plant with a thousand or less defense from your deck to your hand, but since it uses the word when, uh, it can miss the timing. So yeah, I opened up a Return of the Duelist, and ooh, Revived King Hades. Okay. Uh, I opened up a Return of the Duelist, I keep saying that, and I... Also opened up a Legacy of Darkness booster box, both booster boxes, and I haven't uploaded that yet because I'm kind of, I don't really like how it looked or how it went, how the opening went, so I'm probably not going to upload it unless unless someone wants me to show it. I didn't really pull anything very good from either of them. I think the Legacy of Darkness one, I didn't even pull a secret rare, and I did not, of course, I didn't pull... Um, the good secret rare from um, Return of the Duelist. I didn't pull any of the good secret rares, really. There's like five of them. Or not five, but there's there's like two that were really good. Gear Gigant X and um, High Priestess. I didn't pull either. I pulled like Dark something. I don't even know. Pride for War Rare. And ooh, nice. An Ultra Rare Black Rose Dragon. I guess I'll, I'm fine with that. Okay, and now on to the left side, or whatever side this is. I can't tell about my right from my left anymore. I guess it depends on which way you're looking at it from. So, alright, so let's see what else we got. Ooh, Doom Kaiser Dragon Ultimate. Yep, I think that's Ultimate. I think I already have one of these, but oh well. I'm okay with that. Come on, I don't know if I can get a Ghost Rare though. Um, coming up on the 10 minute mark now, so let me just finish this pack. Iron Chain Repairman and an Upside Down Super Rare, Red Ogre. Okay. Electronic Engine, another Giant Trap Hole. Uh, let's try to do one more pack before we run out of uh, recording time. Stormcaller, Morphonic Engine. Okay. Alright, next pack. Let's open this. Wow, that pack just kind of fell apart in my hands. Um, really? Two Healing Wave genera generators in the same pack. Did you guys see that? That is definitely a problem. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, Tiger Dragon. Ooh, Whitestone of Legend. I forgot that this was in here. 
That's a pretty good comment. I'm gonna put that to the side. Uh, wow, I didn't know that was in here. That's actually a pretty good comment because, uh, well, Blue Eyes is supposed to be getting some support kind of, well, not soonish, but they're getting us a, a um, oh, Iron Chain Dragon. They're getting a structure deck in Japan, and that could potentially be a, a very good card for them. For any, really, really any Blue Eyes deck can use White Stone Legend because Cards of Consonance is pretty good. Let's see, draw two cards. And then we have a Psychic Life Transfer. That's a decent um, Psychic uh, Synchro Monster. I'm actually, I don't want to separate it though. I'm just going to leave it in with my mix of commons and rares over to the side. And let's see. I don't know what I'm missing now. Probably a super electronic accelerator and a super rare Queen of Thorns. Huh. That's I guess that's pretty good. You have to pay a thousand life points in order to normal summon or special summon non plants. I know plants used to be really good and then another giant trap hole. And then uh you know well Lone Fire Blossom got hit and then Spore got hit and then um the really good one got hit, I keep forgetting the name. Um, sure, it'll come back to me. So nothing. Glow Up Bulb, that's the one I'm thinking of. Glow Up Bulb got hit. Glow Up Bulb was really good. Alright. DNA checkup. Miracle Fertilizer for the rare, and another White Stone Legend. I think I have three. White Stone of Legends now, if, if I count the one from my, uh, from the structure deck. Dragon's Collide structure deck that I bought once way, way long ago. So I might be making a Blue Eyes deck. Oh, okay. And, ooh, a Secret Rare Gladiator Beast Retari, Retiari, sorry. Um, I don't know if this one's any good. If this attacked or was attacked, oh, no, um... If it was a special summon, you can remove and play a card in your opponent's graveyard, and then it has the bounce back effect. Alright, I don't know if they use that. Uh, I'm not really too uh, up to date with Yu-Gi-Oh! I've just kind of come back. At, I, like, I left around um, probably a little bit after Shadow of Infinity came out, and then I came back around Photon Shockwave. And then I started buying some older packs like this. Um. <clears throat> All right. Whoops. Sorry. I hit the another psychic life transfer. Life transfer. I say life transfer, but that's not what it's called. Uh, okay. Now for the last pack. This probably isn't going to be that long of a video at all. I'll do a recap at the end, because I'm sure people don't really care about uh, watching the video all the way through. I'm probably screwing this up completely, and what are we... Oh, another Puppet Master. This is like one of the most common uh, foil cards that I've gotten from Crossroads of Chaos packs, like just outside of the box, so not too... Uh not too happy about that, but uh I guess I'm okay with my pulls. Let me just go over some of the, I guess I'll just show the pulls that I got here. So over here I just separated some of the good cards. Uh, we got Gem Knight Pearl and Augusto Phoenix. I don't know why I didn't put um, Violon Di Sigma over there, because that is a pretty good card too. Uh, Gus Kraken is kind of meh. Violon Prism is pretty good though. Let's see, Violon Tetra. I really don't think any of these other ones are that good. I know Gishkis use um, Vision. I don't think Shadow is in here, but they use Shadow. Gishki Shadow. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I don't think that's in here. I don't think. Well, if I did, if it is, I'm not. I don't have it. Um, yeah. So these are the secrets that I pulled from uh, Hidden Arsenal Six. We got Dagusto Phoenix. Gem Knight Pearl and Violin Di Sigma, those are pretty good. Although Gem Knight Pearl got reprinted as a common. 
or as a starfoil, I think. I don't even know. Um, and then there's this one kind of decent super, I think. And then I guess I'll... I'm sorry, I have to just kind of sort through cards because I'm OCD. Uh, we'll put the ulti at the back. We'll put the ultras right there. And we'll put the secret at the back, actually. So, for supers, we got Puppet Master, which honestly doesn't even look like a super, but I know it's a super. Queen of Thorns, Red Ogre, Botanical Lion, and Goka Pyre of Malice. Again, I don't think, uh, I think that Hieratic, um, Hieratic Hazy Flings uses this because it's a level 6 and it's a fire and you can make Basilitrice with it. Then we have Revived King Hades, which is like, it uses um, Plague Spreader. We got an Ultra Rare Black Rose, which is the cover card, obviously. And card I was kind of hoping to pull. Uh, and then we got an Ultimate Doom Kaiser Dragon, which is not too bad. Um, I would have liked the Plague Spreader, but I already have an Ultra, an ultra and an Ultimate Plague Spreader. So, and I think I already have a ultra, ultimate uh, Doom Kaiser, and a secret rare Gladiator Beast Rediari, and we also pulled two White Stone of Legends, unless I missed one, which I probably did, because um, I wasn't really paying attention to the commons that much. I just kind of noticed this one. So anyway, um, that's it. And if you want me to do more of these, I did see a few. I didn't see any more boxes there, but I did see a few things that I would be willing to get at Walmart. They have this, um, like, $20, um, what's, it, what's it gonna call it, like, a uh, extra value pack, like what Target used to have, but it's, it has a bunch of packs, and then it has, like, a structure deck inside of it, um, so I was thinking about getting that, and they also have a uh, thing which has a bunch of tournament packs in it, which I might consider getting as well. So let me know if you want to see one of those, and uh, this has been Blaze of War, and uh, that's it.